The podcast you're about to hear was made with Anchor. You can use Anchor to make a podcast right from your phone, no experience necessary. Plus, it's completely free. Get the app at anchor.fm slash podcast. You're listening to the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce and tech news. Presented by Sumo Heavy. Here's your host, Bart Moraz. This is the e-commerce minute for July 20th, 2017. Rebel Shop turns your emails into a shop. Rebel, the company formerly known as Rebel Mail, has been helping marketers do more with their emails, making them interactive experiences with things like quizzes and galleries. Now the startup is adding the ability for consumers to complete their purchase from an email with a product called Rebel Shop. Rebel Shop is an API that allows users to make purchases via an email without having to click through to a website to finalize the purchase. Rebel Shop turns emails into mobile storefronts. Before this, users could browse and customize different products from a retailer and then add them to the cart, all from an email on their smartphone, but they'd have to click through to the website to actually make the purchase. With these new capabilities, consumers can now just hit the Purchase Now button and their whole transaction is completed via email. The initial product is focused on Shopify stores. To get started, sending all you need is a Shopify store and a Stripe account to authenticate to the platform. Co-founder Joe Teplow said the goal is to help marketers treat the inbox as an extension of their website. Yeah, interesting. Um, I think Shopify is just going to do it themselves because they have enough API world stuff in there um, because they've been on the on the full kick. But it's interesting how you know you kind of go against the um, abandoned emails or abandoned cart emails where you can just shop right in. It's definitely interesting from that perspective, at least for me, where a Benham cart email goes to you and you can just click yes and then it just buys it. The only downside is obviously you have to have your uh, credit card information in the website already. So if it's a new website you're shopping on and you're a little stuck there. Um, right, so it only works, so this really only works for a, a customer that's been on your site and has almost completed a transaction. So I guess what from from what I'm hearing you say is that this is just an extension of an abandoned card email. Uh, that's how I feel about it. Um, nothing more than that. Um, which is which is fine. Just, you know, an extra less one step to go pe- get more people to buy your stuff. And abandoned card emails are interesting because a lot of people actually will do it so that you can get that extra you know percentage off and things like that. Right, right, right. Uh, there was a quote from co-founder Joe Teplo. He suggested that emails become the last owned channel for retailers where they have direct access to customers without having to worry about newsfeed algorithms or promoting themselves through ads. Yeah, I mean, email is really, I mean, that's really the only way you can control the eyeballs of a consumer. That's just getting them to open it or un, or not unsubscribe is the other <laughs> hard part, which we right. could do a whole nother show on. But adding one click payments to the process, he says he's open to offer the most frictionless, frictionless experience possible, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah, I think so too. We'll see how that that pans out for them. Yeah, or everybody... we'll, we'll see if Shopify just goes and does it on their own. Or the rest of the world kind of jumps on the bandwagon. Right. All right, great idea. We'll see how the execution works. Anything else to add? Just keep on shopping. Keep on shopping. Keep on clicking. All right, everybody, that's your e-commerce minute for today. We will see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today. If you like the show, make sure you add us as a favorite and share this with your friends. Please follow us on social media, at Sumo Heavy. And finally, if you've got a question, comment, or suggestion for the show, call us on Anchor. Until next time, we'll see you on the next e-commerce minute. The podcast you just heard was recorded with Anchor. If you want to make your own, download the Android or iOS app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast. That's anchor.fm slash podcast.